courses in ISS is very fruitful. During this one year, this intense course gave me a good foundation in IT so that I can get a good role in IT industry in the future. For me, what I enjoyed was actually like the long hours that we spent together. So we got to work hard and play hard together. And the group projects that we did was a good way to simulate what it was like working in the industry. I enjoyed all the projects that I did with my teammates. Although we were from different and diverse backgrounds, we learned how to work as a team, contribute with our strengths, improve our skills, and also achieve a great project result. Do you still remember the Java project that we did? Uh, we stayed late at IQ, but I did enjoy that time. My personal interest is in consultancy and project management. After my graduation, I just joined a career consultant. After that, I found out if I wish to give out the constructive advice, I need to have some hands-on experience. That's why I joined ISS to take a course to have some hands-on experience in IT. I started getting an interest in HTML first by playing Neopets. So it's the virtual pet website, if you remember. So I've had to learn how to write HTML to make my pages look even nicer. And then from there, I guess it just went on and now I want to combine my expertise in my bachelor's field and this new grad dip field so that I can go into a new industry. Technology is growing fast and ever-changing. So when I was in my previous career, I always found I could work more efficiently if I could apply technology to my daily work. Thus, I chose to pursue the GDBSA course in NUS ISS. And through this course, I found my interest in technology and decided to start a career in it. I want to change the Singapore tech industry by bringing AI to the routine work that people do every day. Thus, humans can do more creative work. For me, I would foster an environment of collaboration rather than competition. I would like to focus on developing a programming tool that can ease the process of programming so anyone in any industry can implement their thoughts easily. The Eureka moment happened during my internship. I was assigned a task to read dozens of source code to find the information we need. Then I found it would take a lot of time and have high risk of missing out some of the information. I came up with an idea that I could write a Java program to help me do it. And this program did save a lot of time and was shared in my team. The Eureka moment came during our course. So there are so many times in our course when we just couldn't understand what was going on or like <laughs> something just didn't click. And then when there's this certain explanation that comes out, you just understand how everything comes together. There's a very triumphant Eureka moment there. When well, I'm learning Java, I just realized it's just another new foreign language for me. So after knowing the basic syntax, it is the content and logic that matters. It's not the syntax anymore. IT is not just about coding. You can also join as a functional team to help with effective communication and also designing improvements. There doesn't need to be a gender divide. Pursue your interest in tech and step up to stand within the gap. Don't be afraid, don't give up. As long as you have a passion for technology, you can do it. Mm -hmm.